All righty. Hello once again, everyone. Incredible afternoon. I have done this video before um, from my 7720, but I've never done it from the 7840, 7820, 7310, which are the new Epson workforce printers. I don't believe I've ever shown you guys as far as pushing air from this one to fix broken lines and or missing colors. So I am prepping for my son's birthday and I was printing out dinosaurs. Um, and this is supposed to be blue, but it is very much so pink, which I'm not worried about because, hey, this can be for, I mean, represent a girl dinosaur. So I'm not worried about that, but it's supposed to be blue. I have not even done the nozzle check yet, but I already know that it is going to be incorrect. So I'm going to just go ahead and put this in here. And I'm going to go to settings, maintenance, um, print head, nozzle check. You should all, That should always be your first step in troubleshooting is to do a nozzle check so that you can check the state, the current state before you do print head cleanings, any of that. How to check the current state. You do a nozzle check. All right. So we're going to go start. And while that's, ooh, I forgot, this one pops out by itself. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself. I am Shakia, the professor of HS Inc. 365 LLC. Um, we also are the uh, creators of Silaholics Anonymous, which is my online platform. Oh, it wants to pull from trade two. Okay, let's pull from trade two then. Oh, and I, um, yeah, no, so that's the right way. That's so weird. And on the, all the other ones, it always pulls from trade one. That's so weird that this one pulls from trade two. I always forget that. Um, so yeah, we are the owners of Silaholics Anonymous, which is my um, social media platform and community where I teach you how to use Silhouette Studio. Um, with this, I am going to do a print and cut on my cameos. Uh, we also are the owners of the Honestly Speaking product line uh, for all of your print needs. We carry Sublimation Ink, Sublimation Paper, pigment ink and more so as you can see here my cyan is completely missing this is pigment ink not sublimation but it will be the same steps no matter if you are using sublimation ink pigment ink or eco solvent ink or even if you put dye ink in here which i have no idea why you would put dye ink in here it will be the same exact steps so now that i have confirmed that it is messed up i'm gonna go ahead and say okay it's an x but i don't want to do a printhead cleaning i'm gonna go back I'm going to go up to ink cartridge replacement. It's going to tell me to replace it. So I'm going to hit start and lift up my top. I have already moved my, um, I've already removed my blue cover from here because it just makes it easier to do this. All right, next I'm going to take a piece of paper towel. I don't know who told even to buy these thin paper towels. I guess that's all they had at Sam's. So I'm going to double it up because these are super, super thin. And um, I don't want the ink to get, like, I don't want there to be too much ink inside of my heat, my heat press, my printer after I push this air. So I'm going to just fold this over just big enough and shoot i'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see it let me see if i can raise you guys up some and hopefully you can see inside the printer okay there's a little well in there where your foam like it's like little foam and like little black things that stick up we're going to put this right in that well and then move the blade carriage over I mean, not blade, Jesus, the ink carriage. You can only go but so far. Um, so you can go right here. There's like a little like ledge right here. You can go right here in this area. We're going to take our plunger and pull it all the way up. So this is on your syringe. You're going to pull the plunger all the way up. Put it into that back hole. So this is your bit hole back here. You're going to put it in there. And you're going to gently push down. And you're forcing air through it, which will force air through the actual print head 
and clear up any clogs that might be in your printhead. So I'm gonna pull that out slow, no ink. I'm going to move, I'm gonna pull my paper over just so I can make sure that I see ink, which I do. If you wanna push it again, you can, um, just to be on the safe side, but I felt the pressure and see now it goes down a lot easier so I know it's pushing out ink. All right, I'm gonna pull that all the way out. Okay, actually, no, let's go this way. I'm gonna pull it this way and move my ink carriage back over. So there's that ink on there. I'm gonna close that. And it's gonna now go through the initializing process. Replacement complete, hit okay. Um, and I want to now, oh, I didn't do the initializing process. So I now want to do a print head cleaning and I'm gonna hit start. With the newer ones, you can't choose um, to only do black when it's just the color ones. I normally do just black, but the, the new printers, you can't choose to do just black or only colors except black. So we just hit start and that is going to go that says it takes about two minutes and it's gonna go through basically a print head cleaning process and that's gonna clear that up. And I'll print this image again and it will have color to it. So I'm gonna go ahead to Silhouette Studio and well, I don't need, I'm just gonna do a, um, a nozzle check on it. I don't even really need to print this out again. Yeah, I don't really need to print it out again. I'm gonna just do a nozzle check, which I'm gonna put my paper back down in here. I can have it print right on, I'm gonna put it right back in just like this so that it can print right, well, I'm gonna put it this size so it can print right on top. I'm just gonna let it print right over the one that was there before, but this time I should have my cyan. So halfway done, it's gonna close that and then I'll do a nozzle check once it's done. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and ask them while it's going through that process. And while it is finishing up the process, I'm gonna take you over to our website. Chip resetters for the old workforce printers are in stock. We do. Um, we also have the chips that are fully stocked now, um, all on our website, shop.hse365.com. We also sell the cartridges and the chips for the 812, which are not these. These are for the 7710, 7720. So if you go over to the thumbnail for the workforce and go down here. Here are your full on kits. And this is just the syringe and needle set. If you need chips only, just click on any of these. Oh wait, well, I don't know why he hasn't put them over there yet, but we did get chips in yesterday. So let's go back over here. I think they're on. I'm actually gonna create a separate listing because we are now going to sell the individual colors. So here, oh, well, I don't know why. So well, whenever he puts them on there, come back and check, but you can always uh, click on it, go notify me when available, chips only. Put in your email and hit notify me when available and you will get an email once he has restocked them on the site. All right, it is done. So we're going to do the nozzle check. So it's gonna ask you, print head nozzle complete. Printing the nozzle check is recommended. Print the pattern. You're going to hit yes and start. It's going to pull that in and we should see cyan. Oh, it's some of everywhere. Oh, wow. It is, it's, it's dripping. Okay, so I probably won't be able to use this again. Um, it's coming out, but not quite how I wanted it. I'm not sure what's going on with it. 
I'm going to go ahead and do another, you know what? Let me check something because when I pull the paper towel out, that was the first time I ever seen my paper towel rip. So let me just make sure that there's no extra like paper underneath the, um, like nothing that's blocking it underneath the print head because I pulled it the wrong way the first time. Let me get one more sheet. Actually, you know what? Nope. I can use this dried out microfiber towel. Um, so we're going to go back. Oh, wait. We have to initiate a print head, I mean, an ink cartridge replacement so that we can lift it up. I'm going to put this one, I'm going to fold this, put this down in the well, push this over. And just go back and forth, just to make sure there was no paper there. Okay. I'm going to do the print head cleaning. And then put a regular sheet of paper in here now because now this one is all messed up. And make sure that my blue is fully printing. So how it came out. I mean, it lets me know blue is coming out now. And there, it's there, but there were some missing segments which I think it was probably because there was some paper underneath there, but it is flowing now. So I'm just gonna do one more print head cleaning. If it's still not, I'll just repeat the push air because maybe I didn't clear the full clog. I had a sublimation print from earlier. I'm going to use that to print my nozzle check. No sense in wasting good old paper because it's just a nozzle check. So I'm going to use an old sublimation print to do my nozzle check. All right, so that's done. We're going to put this in here. All right, let's see how this goes. So the blue is flowing, but I am still missing some segments. So I need to do more. I need to push air again, which means I actually need more paper towels now. One second. All right. 
ink cartridge replacement. Lift it up. Put that in the well. Push this over. I mean, there's a lot of ink there. I'm going to check this. Make sure that there's nothing wrong with my cartridge itself. Nope. There is not. All right. I'm going to grab my syringe. Pull up on the plunger. Twist it into the very back hole. That's your vent hole. That's the one that should be open. The one in the front is plugged. The one in the middle is a fake hole. And the one in the back is your vent hole. And we're just going to push. All right. So a lot of that came out. Okay. That looks good. Oh, wow, that was a lot, a whole lot. And this is what I was saying, that's really thin. So it's on the back of this. I don't want it to get on my paper, so I'm gonna clean that before paper goes through there. Okay, I'm gonna close it. How do I clean the wheels? I take a micro, I mean, I take a disinfectant wipe, like a Lysol or a Clorox wipe, open this up, put it through the back, like through that little, well, that same well I put this in, you put it through there and you grab like a weeding tool to help pull it out through the front. And then I go like this and pull it back and forth. Or you can um, tape like a gift card or if you have like the sublimation business card, you can tape that to a ribbon, soak that ribbon in alcohol, push that through, and then do the same thing. Take the ribbon and go like this through the back and through the front. That's how you clean the wheels. This is a pigment ink printer. I haven't had to clean the wheels on this, so I haven't done a video on this one. I'm going to throw this same paper back in here for the nozzle check. And hopefully this is clear now because um, that was enough print heads and nozzle checks and all of that. I mean, I just printed from this. So I'm not sure why it got clogged or dried out like that because I just printed from this. So nozzle check and start. Preferably, this is now clear. I don't wanna to have to do deep maintenance on this thing. We're good. All right, so, <laughs> My cyan is printing fully now, but look what it did. It made my magenta cyan, which is so weird, which means I have to do another printhead cleaning. That so sucks.
But at least my cyan is going. All right. Yeah, well, uh, the credit card, I mean, the, the ribbon might be the better way because I just, I mean, yeah, the newer printers, it has more, like, the section for the wheels. They added more pinwheels to these particular printers. So a Lysol wipe may not be long enough because they added, like, a whole other, like, three rolls or something of pinwheels. So the ribbon, and to get the ribbon through easier, a lot of people tape it to a credit card, or, you know, just gift card, um, something like that. So you can easily push it through. You can push that through the front or the back and then, you know, have a long piece of ribbon and it'll make it easier. I forget. Yeah, this one is made differently than the 7710 so all, before it's like the ones before it. So try the ribbon method. All right, hopefully this is done. And I can print out my dinosaurs. I'm trying to print through. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. Shoot. I'm trying to print through and get my black cartridge to go cartridge not recognized because I want to test a theory but it's taking forever for it to clear. Okay, so nozzle check. Yes, be right. I don't have time for you. I got stuff to do. I got things to do. Oh, I don't have a 15,000, so I'm not even really sure how that's made. Yes, we are perfect now. We have our cyan, we have our magenta, and we have our yellow. All righty, cool beans. So I'm going to go ahead and hit print on this, put in my paper. Um, it's going to be a different one than was on there before because I would already um, went to a different page. Um, and this was in the, this is the next one up. So I'm just going to print this one out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. print on premium matte so it takes a really really long time so i doubt you guys will see the final one of this because it takes a really long time to print and i'm printing out the original one now also I just want to make sure that this fully prints and then we will close out. Like I said, on premium mat, this particular printer prints slow, in my opinion, compared to my 7720. This prints slow. But I just want to make sure because this is green. So there had to be cyan in order for the green to print. So I just want to make sure that everything is printing correctly. Green and uh, blue and yellow make green. So hopefully we have a green T-Rex coming out of the printer. Zani Mani's birthday is on the 19th. So I have to make some things for a small gathering here. But I, have to, I also have to make all the things for the kids at his school. Well, in his class. but I'm taking cupcakes for the entire school. Well, he has a, a private school, so it's like 
50 kids. Looks like we have green. Yay. Yes, I have green and it's not dripping. There's no extra ink on the paper. Awesome sauce. Yay. Okay, perfect. So I'll be able to do my print and cut. So that is how you go through it. Don't get frustrated if the first time you push air, it does not clear it. As you can see, I had to push air twice. Um, I ended up having to do, what, three? Four print head cleans, three print head cleans, only because I thought it would clear it up. It wasn't, so I pushed air. Uh, try not to do an excessive amount of print head cleanings. Um, try pushing air before you do a bunch of print head cleanings. The only reason I had to do the last print head cleaning was because I guess I pushed too much um, cyan and it had went over into the magenta. But as you can see, his tongue is coming out red. Well, you guys can't see it just yet. But once it comes out, you'll see that his tongue is red, which means the magenta is printing out properly and all is good in the neighborhood. And we are back in business. If you're wondering about what paper I am using, this is a really thin paper. This is actually really good for chip bags because it is thin, but it is glossy. It is the Koala. I do have a link for this. So it's the Koala 32 pound uh, double-sided photo glossy. So you can print to both sides or you don't have to worry about which side is down. I absolutely love the Koala paper until we get some HS ink regular paper in i am a fan of koala i will post that link for you guys if you would like to purchase some and try it out and at the same time support uh the professor and all that we do over here you can get it from amazon but you can also get it directly from their website if you get it from their website i receive a commission for it so there is that one and then the direct one to their website oh these are all the amazon ones um Oh gosh, where is my link for? Oh, that's the one from Amazon. I can't find my direct link to their website. Don't know where it is. Oh, I only put one paper in there last time. Hold on. Let me put a stack of paper in here. So there we go. And let me put paper in here for the next one. All right. Um, I will come back and put the other link. I cannot find it to go directly to their website because sometimes it's not always on Amazon. And you have to go right to their website, but it all printed out. All is well now. Um, what setting do you use? I tried it and my black smeared really bad. 
Um, are you using, honestly speaking, pigment ink or are you using the Epson ink? Also, which prints are, are you using the 7820, 7840? Are you printing to glossy paper and it's smearing? Are you using the Epson ink? Um, because that sounds like an Epson ink issue, which is why you should definitely switch over to Honestly Speaking ink because ours does not bleed like that. But I used um, premium matte or presentation paper matte, not premium matte, pre presentation paper matte is what I use. So I'm waiting for your response before I close out. So you don't have to switch it to pigment. Well, when you say you're about to switch it to pigment ink, were you using sublimation ink in it before or just the regular Epson cartridges? Yeah, so um, if you're using this exact paper on your Epson, um, if your Epson is um, smearing on the black, their pigment ink black, the new one, I have no idea what they did with their formula. Uh, so the solution to that is to switch on over to Honestly Speaking. And you're going to save money anyway because those Epson cartridges are expensive. Girl, why are you still using Epson? When you switch to the refillables, uh, their XL set costs you $139. You get our chips and you pay $60. And that's like getting a, a fresh set of Excel cartridges. And it's just 60 bucks. Yeah, you can use all the other colors. I did that too. When I first got it, the one that came with it, I used all the other colors, but the black was horrid. So um, I ended up taking the chip off of the black one and putting it on an old clip. Um, and you, so I, so I stood it so that I didn't lose those prints, but I, um, took it off of an 812 cartridge, put it on the refillable and use those prints up just so that I can have those prints, but not use their ink because their black ink smears and it, um, it comes off like on glossy, like on sticker paper and stuff like that. It will flake off. Ooh, that is so pretty. So if you have sublimation in it now and you want to switch to a switch it permanently to a regular pigment ink printer to print cutouts and stickers um, and things like that is not eco solvent. It's not going to press to a shirt without like Jet Pro. You are going to have to purchase two sets of cartridges from our website. You will need to make a cleaning cartridge and print out purge file after purge file after purge file. Sublimation ink is very, very dominating. You have to completely clear that out to where you are getting white print purge files and then go back to pigment ink and do the push um, push air to push that pigment ink through. Um, you have to do that. So it's a bit of a process to go from sub back to pigment. From pigment to sub, it's just one print head cleaning. But the reverse, you've got to clear all of that sublimation ink out first. So yeah, those colors look amazing now. All right, I can jump off of here because it is all done. Just wanted to make sure that this was gonna come out right. And I'll show you what it looked like before and how I knew there was a problem. That was, a, this was supposed to be that. And so when it was all pink, I knew there was an issue. Now we have blue. And as you can see here, it does not smear. Okay. If you would like to see me print and cut this, I don't want this video to be too long. Come on back because I'm about to print and cut this in just a moment. There we go. And this black still has not gone anywhere. 
I'm trying to clear this black ink. So I'm trying to print out all of his dinosaurs to try and clear out this black ink. I need to, people always ask how long do the chips last? I was hoping it would clear out on the first. So once it does, once it does that, I'm going to go into my print counter, see where, see how many prints I have done. And then I'm going to go back to that number. Once a color runs out, I'm going to then go back and know about how many prints I got out of it. Because if I'm printing from this one, I'm printing on premium mats. Most times I'm printing on premium mats, 11 by 17 paper. So if you're printing on plain paper with a summation printer, you can probably like not quite double it, but maybe add like 25% more prints to it. Yes, this is glossy paper. Um, I just purchased my second set and I've had the first one for a while, just procrastinating doing it. Okay, perfect. I'm excited to get your ink in it. Awesome. All right, y'all, I am out of here. Um, like I said, if you want to see me print and cut these, be sure to come on back um, over to Sillaholics Anonymous's YouTube and or Facebook. That's where I will be doing that. And it's going to be a real quick one. I'm just going to do the print and cut on. I'm not putting them together yet. I don't even know what I'm going to do with these. My goal is trying to purge out this black ink. So I'm just printing, 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 printing. Yeah. So if you want to see me do the print and cut, come on back to Sillaholics Anonymous right after this. All right, guys. Until next time, have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity. Um, be incredible. And don't forget to visit our website, shop.hsinc. 365.com for your prints for all your print needs, pigment ink, salvation ink, and a little insider information. Our testers for Eco Solvent Ink has come in, and we are gearing up to send out our samples of the uh, pre-filled sawgrass cartridges. I can't do it on mine because I haven't even set mine up yet. But we're going to have a few people that's going to test the sawgrass cartridges. So that's going to be coming up real soon too, y'all. I'm so, so, I'm so excited. So that's a little inside information. Be on the lookout for that on our website, shop.hsinc365.com. Later, guys.